Hi, this is Brandon Slade from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the half kneeling cable chest press, specifically the single arm variation of it. And what you're gonna need here, you need some kind of cable machine, free motion works awesome, but really any cable machine can work. Um, and depending upon what your setup is, uh, I personally am gonna use an AirX pad because there's concrete right here to make it a little more comfortable. And then the height of the cable is ideally gonna be around hip width, okay? It can go up or down just a little bit depending upon how tall you are, how short you are, but this is usually a good place to start and you can adjust as needed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the regular like D handle to hold on to. We're going to give ourselves some space. We want to make sure we scoot away so there's constantly tension on the cable machine throughout the entire range of motion. And then we're going to get in our half kneeling position. So I got my right leg up here at 90 degrees. My back leg is right underneath my hip at 90 degrees. My hand's holding onto the cable. As you can tell, it's pretty much right around my chest level, which is kind of what we're after here. And then what I want to do is make sure that my body is turned towards my upstance leg. That cable's clearly trying to rotate me away. So make sure I stay good and neutral and turn. Belly button's pointing forward. Got a hold of the cable. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to press straight out in front of me just like a dumbbell press or a single arm dumbbell press and keeping my abdominals good and tight. I'm going to use this arm, press straight forward, and then come back. So as the weight comes back towards me, I want to make sure that I'm not rotating too much. A little bit of rotation is going to be normal. It's going to be really hard to keep everything perfectly still. So a little bit of rotation is fine. But what we don't want to have happen is we don't want to come back like this to press. Try to keep their belly button forward the whole time. Get some answer rotation work. And then you're going to really reach out in front of you. So you're going to kind of protract a little bit, get that serratus involved. And then you would switch sides as needed. Now, the main reason you do this exercise, one, the scapula can move around the rib cage very naturally. Again, we talked about the serratus doing its job. That's incredibly important for overhead athletes where the serratus might need to be involved a little bit more. We want that scapula moving. We don't want to always pin down. That's going to be good for shoulder health. So this also works well for people that have got achy shoulders. They kind of want to do some pressing, but maybe the bench press isn't the best exercise for them. This is great because that scapula can move around the rib cage the way we want. Then you're also getting the added benefits of in a half kneeling position, so hip flexor is good and lengthened, and then we're also going to get that anti-rotation, the abdominal work that we're going to get from that's hugely beneficial, so they're not in that extension pattern all the time, we help keep our ribs down while we're getting that pressing motion involved. So a lot of great things here about this exercise. I think it's great, even if you're a power lifter or a strength athlete, doing these like once a week, just light for some warm up to get that scapula moving can go some good places with you for your shoulder health if you've got banged up shoulders. Key thing here, don't try to be a hero on this exercise, challenge yourself, but again, you wanna make sure you're getting those, those checkpoints hit of abdominals staying good and strong. You're able to reach, get that serratus involved, control the whole rep throughout the range of motion. Now, when it comes to your assessing your reps, probably two to four sets of about eight to 12 reps is kind of a sweet spot. Anything less than eight, it starts to become too strength heavy, and then you're gonna to start to see some technique uh, breakdown, or you're gonna see some cheating to be able to get the weight to move. But eight to 12 is kind of that good spot. You're gonna get some quality hypertrophy, some good movement work, um, and then obviously do both sides. You're probably gonna find the one side stronger or weaker than the other, and that's gonna be a red flag for you as well in terms of your shoulder stability, but also where you need to work from a unilateral position. So if you've got any questions, please let, know, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, have a great day.